frictional force than the distance. Okay? The frictional force will now be equal to your coefficient of static friction, the mass, and your value of g. And we are given the value of your coefficient to be equal to 0.1, your mass to be 0.01, and your g is 10. Okay? If you try to multiply all what we are having here together, you are going to have 0.1 times 0.01, then all together by 10, you are going to have 0.01 new thing. Then the work done will now be equal to the force, which is 0.01 times x. The x there has been given is 0.2 meter. 0.2 so I just now multiply 0.01 by 0.2 we are going to have 0.02 0.002 then we are looking for work done that is joule and if you like you can this is 1 2 3 2 times 10 this is power minus 3 in joule and that is the answer to question number 4 Consider under this topic impedance. How do we define impedance? Impedance is the opposition to the flow of alternating coins, either we by resistor to inductor, resistor to capacitor, resistor to inductor to capacitor, present in an AC circuit. Let me try and simplify it for you. As I have told you, we can have ordinary resistor in an AC circuit. We can also have ordinary capacitor in an AC circuit. We can also have ordinary inductor in an AC circuit. And at the same time, we can have both resistor and inductor together in an AC circuit, making two. We can also have resistor and capacitor together in an AC, in an AC circuit. Then we can now have the theory together, resistor, inductor, capacitor, together in an AC circuit. That's what we are talking about. So impedance is now the opposition of the flow of alternative coins offered by either resistor and inductor together, resistor and capacitor together, or resistor, inductor, and capacitor, the three components together in an AC circuit. And that is what we, we mean by impedance. Impedance. So from there we shall quickly go and solve the following question. Let's consider question number six from the, the set of questions we have. We have Solve the first five questions. This is question number six. The question says a 120 volt. Let's take that the parameters one by one. One this voltage is 120 volts. Now we are given a 60 of a pipe. Uh, that is to be our frequency. Let's continue. A 120 volt comma 60 over pi AC source is connected across a 2 microvolt capacitor C is 2 microvolt. And this is equivalent to 2 times 10 raised to power minus 6 volt. Micro is 10 raised to power minus 6 volt. Then this power minus is found. Calculate the current passing through the circuit. We are looking for high. We are coming from what we call capacitive reactants. Xc. 
is equal to 1 over 2 pi fc, which is equal to 1 divided by 2 pi. Our frequency has been given, which is 60 over pi. So for frequency, I'm going to have 60 divided by 5, then c, which is 2 times 10 minus 6. That is what you are going to have, which is equal to pi cancel pi. 2 times 60, then times 2. Okay? And that's 4 times 60. That's 240. 1 divided by 240. 2 times 60 times 2. We give you 240 times 10. This is power minus 6. And this can be written as 10 is to power 6. Then this one goes up. It be, it, we are going to have 10 to power 6 divided by 240. That's what we are going to have. Okay? For capacitive reactors in ohms. That's not the end. We are looking for current that will pass through the circuit. You remember that the voltage across the circuit is high and C. Let's make high the subject of the formula. We are going to have phi C all divided by X C. Okay? And we have been given the voltage 120 divided by Xc, which is equal to 10 to the power 6 divided by 240, and which is equal to 120, this is divided by, divided by 10 to the power 6, 240, 120 times, this one we move up, this will come down. And that's what you are going to have. This will go up, this will come down. Okay? Then now, we are going to have 120 times 240 must give us something. We have 288 divided by 10 raised to the power 6. And 10 to the power 6 is as simple as 28800 divided by, this is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Okay? So we can easily divide that by the denominator. And that will give us 0.0288. This can also be equal to 1, 2. 2.88 2 times 10 to the power minus 2. Then we are looking for points, the unit is ampere. 2.88 times 10 to the power minus 2 ampere. And that is simple solution to that question. Question number 7. The question says, at what frequency? That is to say, we are calculating for frequency. At what frequency would 10 Henry? You just write 10H. But I've told you that the unit for inductance hell. Inductance hell, 10 L. Inductor have a resistance of okay. We are given an inductive reactance. Once you have seen the word inductance of, they are referring to inductive reactors, which is 2000 ohm. 2000 ohm. Those are the parameters we are given in that question. So how do we now calculate for frequency? Let's look at this. You remember the formula for inductive reactors? 
which is 2 pi fm, which is equal to 2 pi half. That's what we are looking for. In fact, from here, let's make f the subject of the formula. f is equal to xl divided by 2 pi half. By the time we make a frequency, the subject of the formula, we are going to have this. We are going to have this. Let's now make, do a simple substitution. XL, 2000. 2 pi L, 10. 2000. This is a 2 times 10. That's 20 pi. 20 pi. Okay? Now what are you having? 2 in 200, 100 over pi. Hacks. And that's the simple solution to that question in terms of pi. In terms of pi. And that's the Solution to question number seven. Question number eight. An inductor of inductance 12 milli early. Let's take that the parameters one by one. Inductor of inductance L, which is 12 milli. Milli means 12 times 10 is about minus 3 early. 